Goku! Spinning up the stairs! Oh yeah! It's pretty awesome. Oh. Oh. Silly squid. But anyways, I am Thungon and I am on Exile. Again. I'm back. Um, it's been a long time since my last video on this and that's because I've had a little bit of a falling out with Vanilla. Um, yeah, you could say that. Um, basically, I think the only thing keeping me into Minecraft right now is PvP. And, because I, I like it a lot. And, um, but, as far as normal Vanilla, building, like, mob farms and all that stuff, it doesn't really interest me as much as it used to. I don't, like, I hardly actually... I don't think I watch many, uh, tutorials as I used to. Oh, no, definitely not. Um, I actually stopped watching most, but, um, overall, it's not my interest anymore. However, I want to, uh, think of a way where I could, uh, play on here and combine what I like still about Minecraft and I think I have some <clears throat> Oof. Ah. I think I have something in the plans um, I think it would be pretty exciting for me to do um, it would take a long time I think but I think it will be worth it in the end but anyways I did do a little bit around here since last time which was off and on bits like first I completed this I make it I made it go all the way around to the edge it gives it a hey it gives it a better feel um it doesn't feel so cut short aha is that a normal zombie thank you doesn't feel quite so cut short. And it, it just feels more complete being a full cycle now all the way into the mountain. Uh, actually connecting with the mountains kind of off, but uh, maybe some other time, not anytime soon though. I also redid all the roads. Um, being that I'm still using the vanilla textures as of now, um, waiting for 1.5 to fully update. Although I probably could now, but um, in general, I'm on vanilla, and so gravel looks ugly. So I went with this road design. Um, jungle stairs with the old stone half slabs, and I really like this look actually. Um, it's also surrounded by jungle logs, which is cool. Oh, all the reeds grown. Wow, it's crazy. Well, I guess it would have, cause been busy the past little bit. But anyways, the stairs are done. Also, the cows have moved down here, which is probably a bad idea because instead of escaping through the fences, they suffocate in the wall and die. So I need to <laughs> probably move them around a bit, cause I don't want them to keep doing what. I go down there to breed them, and they do, but it doesn't last very long and I don't actually get any loot from it but the chickens here are fine getting a lot of eggs I like laying it right on the border which is really nice like I'm just walking around don't even have to enter and I already have nine <laughs> ten there we go I also did a little bit of tree farming here for some reason it's a little bit laggier than normal when I record I don't know why but it feels that way I think it's just the snapshots that it's laggier in general but this is week six still and been farming some trees but my plans to stay into vanilla is related to PvP in a way where um, instead of like a PvP faction type server which is 
got kind of dry for me really quickly when it first the idea first came out. Um, this building is complete now. I don't know. I don't think that was on camera, but this is complete now. But um, instead of like fighting, sword fighting, that sort of PvP and vanilla. Three two safe. Don't worry. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of maybe building PvP maps in vanilla. Um, obviously, there will be a lot of issues to run into. For example, you don't have full access to all the different block types like bedrock and command blocks. But, and also like MC edit stuff like floating rails and all sorts of odd things. Uh, redstone farm redstone torch farms like we saw in Cake Wars 3 preview but um, I think it'll be pretty cool uh, it will probably be a easier to build in vanilla type map I'm thinking something like if you're familiar with PGM at all something like Golden Drought to start off and the these are this will be a huge project obviously but anyways I plan on building it underground um, down this huge staircase I finished and I want it to be underground because I need all the stone and stuff anyways so I'm gonna clear out a huge room to get all the supplies and then have the area to build it and it'll kinda look weird up top so I don't want to do it up there but anyways, I've been, I completed this staircase. It used to only be half of this far. Now it goes all the way down to bedrock. Um, I've been setting up a station here. And I went all the way down to bedrock. And it's a good thing because diamonds are right here. And that's <laughs> like as soon as I... Oh, he's new. Great Geo's new. As soon as I uh, started going further than I originally, as I will probably use normally, I found diamonds, so that was cool. Oh yeah, that's a lot for me. Um, 12, nice. Um, the wooden stairs don't go all the way down because they did catch fire once. There's still lava all around here. Um, I've been using stone picks so far, and what I mean by so far is over here. I've been clearing out space. It's very uh, not not too much yet, but I did just start this last night. So, and I've been using stone picks with uh, level one enchants on them to speed things up just a tad bit but not waste my diamond resources because I don't actually have that many and despite it being like nearly three months into the server we still have not gone into the end to get the ender farm and I checked again for the blaze farm those still weren't up so as far as getting a level 30 it's fairly ra rare too so there's some amount of diamonds I have I want to keep until actually can use them fully but yeah anyways I think um, nowadays in general um, the only thing keeping me into gaming really is PvP PvP type of games like Team Fortress 2 there's lava beneath there probably hmm You got this. Yeah. <laughs> got it. By Team Fortress 2, I've been playing a fair bit. Um, and in general, just... Did I? Yeah, they cover that up. Just like... Competition games, I guess you could say. Instead of single players... My single player world in Minecraft, by the way, has been... Very inactive. Um, 
and this is why I'm going this direction because the emeralds but um yeah it's just been a uh, inactive oh, only one yeah it's just been like um four months since I really done anything big in that world um the only thing, thing only times I went on was in the past and I think in 2013 at all was to uh kill my old username <laughs> so yeah um <laughs> gravel more gravel but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling see ya and say see ya myself to all of you I want to keep on working and maybe uh, next episode I can start getting b decent plans down for the type of map I want to build in survival here and like what's feasible what the layout will be we could all we, I, I could share that and don't like just stop and just like show my progress throughout my thoughts and all that could be like a, maybe like a map making series too on exile and I think that'd be pretty cool um it will be meant for pvp and it'll have that focus so I think I'll be I'll be into it and not like become I don't know Make, give myself some more interest in normal survival. Um, also, there will be uh, other maps I want to make and have plans of making in normal creative, MC edit, all that stuff. But I have a lot of resources to collect, like gunpowder for TNT, if I want to include that in the map. Oh, I, I should also say, uh, I only plan on building half the map in survival. Um, once it reaches half the map, I'll just uh, copy the world and duplicate it. Um, and then do the finishing touches and MC it. But every building part for one half of the map will be done in vanilla. And I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, it all depends on how big it is. If it's a big map, it'll be half. But I'm just concerned because mirroring could go really wrong in vanilla like user error in mirroring a world so I don't want that to uh, happen and it has to be a pain to do it twice um, let's just do it once so yeah um, that's my plans for exile sorry this is a shorter video but um, Wandering around with no goal doesn't really make for much progress on anything. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks for watching this. Give me ideas if you have any ideas for building a map in vanilla. Although, I'll, I'm going to come up with my own. So, I p might overrule it. But if you have ideas, feel free to share. I will definitely read them and consider them. But, other than that, Thanks for watching. There's a skeleton nearby. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.